My name is Declan Barton and I play for the Business of Bison. Another big check from the Booster Club got Saturday night off to a great start as the Paul Baldwin Agency's Basingstoke Bison look to extend their home winning run with a visit from the Shepherds Steel Dogs. The herd had won by the odd goal in five in Yorkshire earlier in the campaign and were looking to put the pressure on again. The home fans didn't have to wait long for the opener though. Alan Lack producing the turnover as Lee Haywood took a trip into the Steel Dogs bench. And with some players' distraction heading over there, Thomas Karpov weaved his own little route to the net for the first goal of the night just two minutes in. Plenty for us to catch up on there, but thankfully our Barracuda Network's replay will show you all the sights you need to see again. And with the visitors falling into penalty trouble, the host would look to take full advantage with maybe one of the prettiest goals of the season from a team perspective. Ryan Watt, Kieran Long and Joe Green are combining to great effect, leaving Karpov with the simplest of finishes for his second of the night. The perfect connection for the Stampede, as our Barracuda Network's replay show. That's not to say the Herd were going to have it all their own way. Declan Barmer picking up the penalty call here. With surprise following in the arena as it became a 2 plus 10 for checking to the head. We'll leave you to make your own conclusions on that one. Sheffield were beginning to find their feet on the ice. But even when they did get the breakaway, Thomas Yedlowski was proving himself in fine form. Even with players having to take evasive action around him. Period drew to a close with a bit of action around the bison net, being followed by more at the benches. A few pleasantries exchanged, but remember this undercurrent for later on, the herd leading 2-0 at the end of the first. Baldwin Agency's Basingstoke Bison once again found themselves in the ascendancy early in the second. A power play opportunity nearly giving Thomas Karpov the chance to get his third of the night. Then keep your eyes on our Barracuda Network replay and see just how close Ryan Watt came to tucking home the loose puck. Alan Lack and Stuart Mogg were the next two to combine well and come close to adding the third. Play rolled on for a while with referee Thompson raising his arm before Lack and Grant Elliott came face to face. Nice little tilt, they got the crowd off their feet and well worth a little view again.
He did little to spark the Steel Dogs into life, as Joe Rand's hard work down in deep nearly brought its rewards for Aaron Connolly. Only a stick on the play denied the captain his chance of a goal. Eventually, though, after much knocking on the door, the third goal would come. And again, much pressure in deep working to the herd's advantage, with Kieran Long making his way to the net for the finish. A Barracuda Network replay just rewards for a commanding spell of play. Another power play opportunity produced another sustained spell of play from the herd and the big drive saw Steel Dogs bodies flying into the way in the crease with netminder Dalibor Sedler taking a trip for his troubles but the net wasn't breached again in the seconds. Into the third and we'd love to show you some Steel Dog highlights but uh, sadly there isn't any. Instead the Paul Baldwin agencies Basingstoke Bison continue to terrorise the Steel Dogs defence with Alan Lack getting the final touch to the fourth of the team. Hard work and effort the theme of this week's Barracuda Network's replays. Any resistance the Steel Dogs did put up was quickly nullified by the Stampede. Kiedlowski collecting his first shutout in Bison Colours as a convincing home win followed. The final highlight of the night belonging to Joe Greener on the power play as he put home the fifth for the herd. The result sending the Bison to the top of the English Premier Ice Hockey League with the home fortress continuing to stand tall.